Hey guys, welcome back. So we got to go ahead and give you guys some Atlanta tidbits. Y'all, it's a lot going on. Phaedra Parks did an interview with Entertainment Tonight. Um, Kenya Moore Hair Care did an interview with Access Hollywood Housewives Nightcap. And she's basically alluding to the fact that Marlo may be using her nephews for a storyline. Uh, hey, it's very messy. And then uh, speaking of Marlo, I am so happy that Marlo and her nephews are alive and well to tell the story because allegedly, not allegedly, they had like a home intruder scare, okay, where they almost got robbed, okay? It, it, it was really scary. Um, let me go ahead and read this article, WSB TV, the local news in Atlanta, honey. Police arrest alleged gang members tied to home invasions involving celebrities across metro Atlanta. Police have solved a string of violent home invasions targeting celebrities across Metro ATL. Four suspected gang members are, are now in custody in connection to at least 15 home invasions over the past year. I had no clue that this was happening. I didn't even know this was happening. Maybe because I'm not a celebrity, so it doesn't affect me. But knock on wood. No. No. Um, one of those celebrities was Marlo Hampton of the Real Housewives of Atlanta, who told Channel 2 investigative reporter that she watched on her security system as armed masked men kicked her door down. Uh, they kicked her door down, making a loud boom. The attempted burglary happened July 1st at her Sandy Springs home. I had no clue that Marlo Hampton lived in Sandy Springs. I thought sis lived in Buckhead, but I do believe Buckhead and Sandy Springs is like right there. They're like right there. Okay, there is a section, a whole section of Sandy Springs that's like right there by Buckhead. So, you know, whatever. But oh my God. Um, when I heard the boom, she says, when I heard my nephew scream, I knew that scream was a scream of fear. My heart dropped, Hampton said. Police uh, now... Um, told her that her case is tied to other incidents, okay? These other 15 home invasions that these gang members had colluded um, to come together and, you know, try to rob the folks. Hampton said she went to a panic room and called 911. What? What a panic room? What What in the hell is, y'all, I had to Google what a panic room is. I'm like, what is a panic room? Like, is that some sort of bunker? A panic room? How Marlo got a panic room in that little townhouse? A secret room in a house or other building that is designed to be invulnerable to attack or intrusion. How in the hell does Marlo Hampton have a panic room in that damn? What in the hell? That is really interesting. Okay, that is really, really interesting. I, I'm I'm shocked by this. Right? Um, the suspects who kicked her door in fled possibly because she yelled. Mm, really? You go. Maybe they thought that she wasn't home, and so they decided to target her because you know Marlo Hampton be all around town, okay, all up there in Phipps, styling the boys with the Alexander McQueens and the Hermes belts and whatnot, and she be out there with her Finny Louis Gucci Prada, okay, um, her Valentino, her Gucci. No, but um. Yeah, maybe they thought, okay, sis is probably not home. They didn't see no lights on. They probably didn't see a car in the driveway. So maybe they foolishly said, okay, we're going to intrude and try to rob Miss Hampton. And thank God she yelled and they fled the scene of Canada, honey. She said, I just thank God that we're covered in the blood of G. Hey, man, and I'm here to share this story with you. But my main concern is I want all the ladies, I want everyone to be aware if you are posting, if you do have luxury items, be careful, Hampton said. Wow. Um, I'm happy that this is okay. I'm really happy that this is okay because I don't need nothing happening to Marlo Hampton. We know that her luxury items are her prized possessions and she, 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 she don't play about that Fendi. Okay, she do not play about that Fendi. She do not play about that Louis. But um, listen, she she's here today to tell us the story. So that's crazy. I am just super thankful that her and the nephews are okay. Now, speaking of her and the nephews, y'all, Kenya Moore did a whole interview with Access Hollywood, um, what is it called, Housewives Nightcap, where they interviewed these housewives, right? And honey, it was so interesting because one of them basically said that the folks are on social media saying that Marlo Hampton is using her nephews for a storyline. Now, you guys, I'm going to play the clip so y'all don't think this is clickbait. I'm going to play the clip. Y'all love to say this is clickbait. Y'all love to say I'm lying. Y'all love to say that I'm making stuff up. 
No, I did not make this up. Listen, when the lady said that the folks on Twitter are saying that Marlo is using her uh, nephews for a storyline, Kenya Moore made this face that I thought was so alarming, and it said a lot. A facial expression is worth a thousand words. Go ahead and check out this clip. Or like I know a lot of people are saying, is this adding to the storyline? Did y'all see that? Did y'all see that? Okay, y'all saw Kenya's face. She was like, well, they said it, not me. They said it, not me. Kenya Moore, I think, kind of slick agrees now. I think she's alluding to this. She did not explicitly say, but I have reason to believe that Kenya Moore hair care believes that Marlo is using her nephews as a storyline for a storyline. And there have been so many folks on social media to have that um, sentiment. So listen, I find that to be super interesting. Do I think she's using them for a storyline? I'm going to go ahead and give Marlon Hampton the benefit of the doubt and say no. But also in the same interview, I know um, that Kenya was saying, which is true, that a lot of the folks are outraged that she would take in her nephews and then not really take the responsibility to heart, right? Candy has said on multiple occasions, when you do make that decision to take on, um, you know, these children that are not your own, to take them in and to be their guardian, you put your own feelings to the side. I've been trying to give Marlo the benefit of the doubt. I've been trying to extend her some grace and some mercy, honey. But child, they are eating Marlo up in these comments. Excuse me. So I thought that was interesting. Kenya also went on to say that Marlo is desperate, honey. She's evil and she's desperate for a check, which is the reason why she's coming up with this drama. She says the drama is very inauthentic. She says it's fake. She says it's self-produced. And honey, I ain't never like Kenya Moore hair care, but I don't know. It's something about season 14 that I'm just like, listen, agree, agree, agree. Now, speaking of Housewives and their um, interviews, let's see. Phaedra Parks did an interview um, with Entertainment Tonight. She spoke about this departure store. So remember, on Ultimate Girls Trip, all of the ladies were at the wine cellar or the wine tasting. And Vicky said, I have an idea. We're going to go around the table, starting with Phaedra, and let's talk about our departure stories. And Phaedra was like, nope, I'm not talking about that. And then in the confessional, she says that her departure was some BS and that there are two sides to every story and only one side was told, alluding to the fact that Bravo did not tell her side. Ooh, Portia just posted a photo. Hold up, Portia. Phaedra. So yeah, she did not want to talk about it. She said it was BS and it was two sides and only one side was told. Well, now... This is the story that keeps on giving. She did an interview and she basically said that they on Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip had already talked about her departure story, which I don't believe to be the 100% truth. Brandy says that she got Phaedra to talk about it, but I don't think Phaedra is budging on this. So um, I don't know. She said that the scene got cut out. She says that the scene got cut short. I don't remember this scene of what she's talking about. I, I don't know. I think Phaedra's bluffing and I think she's slick, not the most honest person, but okay. I'm saying that to say that, um, you know, she's claiming that she already spoke about the departure, but Bravo ended up cutting it. Now, maybe she's mentioning the producer. Maybe she, you know, this is a show where you can, you know, uh, ignore the fourth wall and maybe she got a little bit too real. Maybe Peacock did cut it short, but I just don't think that to be the case. I just, I don't think so. Um, Listen, she said that she is back in the Bravo family. I mean, she has appeared on Ultimate Girls Trip. We already know that. And she's appeared on Real Housewives of Dubai. She says that uh, becoming a full-timer on Dubai is a real possibility for her as she is getting the help of Caroline Brooks to find a home in Dubai. So that's great. But she says because she's been ushered back into the Bravo family, that speaks volumes. And I do agree with that. If Bravo felt as though what Phaedra did was that big and that wrong, why would they invite her to do Ultimate Girls Trip? Why would they invite her to be on Dubai? Why would they invite her to do the Bravo Con and whatnot? So I do think that there is an element of this story that's being hidden but at the same time, I just wish that we could get the full truth. 
All right. Let me know how y'all feel about that. Um, has Phaedra been vindicated? Do you think Bravo is hiding the real reason um, behind the whole Dungeons, Dragons, and Drug Gate? Let's go ahead and talk about that. How do we feel about Kenya? Kind of slick. Low key agreeing with the fact that Marlo is using her nephews. And how do you guys feel about these uh the, the gang violence, the gang, the gang uh thieves in Atlanta? Like, honey, hide your kids, hide your wives, and lock your doors. It's crazy out here in these streets. All right. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to create a great day.